Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. Today was the Power to the Poles March in Las Vegas and I attended it with a group of friendly men and women and we had a really good time. I was hoping to stream it live but there was no internet there at all. I couldn't even post a picture to Facebook so I wasn't able to go live at the event and uh, I'm sorry, I hope you're not too disappointed. Uh, what I'm going to do is it's Sunday night and we all got back from the event and we're back at camp we went into Vegas went to Circus Circus and had some lunch and just kind of had a fun day of community sorry I keep looking at myself to make sure you can see me hi all right uh, I'll stop uh, I really would love I shot a ton of footage so I'm gonna try to put something together for you like right now and get it uploaded because I did want to get you something today the actual day of um it was a lot of fun it, I'm gonna be, I'll be honest though it was a little bit of a uh, a little anticlimactic and I think a little bit of a letdown. It was at a stadium uh, at UNLV, Sam Boyd Stadium, I think, and we all just sat in the bleachers and listened to speakers and uh, it kind of just anticlimactic. It's just not... I don't know. You're not marching. You're not in the streets. It's not the power to the streets. It's just an event and you sit down and you listen to people kind of say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm sorry. I wanted it to be really powerful and it was in its own way. It just wasn't the same as actually getting out into the street and, and marching. Uh, I have to say though that the energy and being there around women and sisters who have the same goals, the same ideas, the same ideals, the same uh, motivation to make change in the country, to get out and vote for things that matter to all of us, um, well, to many of us, to women, control over our own lives, things like that. Uh, that part of it really was very empowering. Uh, some of the things that were said by some of the speakers. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, we ask you, oh God, in your infinite wisdom, to embrace us all down to you today at the Women's March in your love, blessings, and compassion. All of us having a voice, all of us doing our part to make change really resonated with me. The only thing, the one thing standing between no, this administration and their goal of ending access to health care and reproductive rights and safe and legal abortion has been millions of death determined women. And the women, that's why you get in. You're the one Uh, I would like to think that I am using my platform and my newly found voice to make a difference, to empower and inspire people. I guess this is a good time to talk about my channel and me, my life. Um, the channel, in case you maybe missed it, is called Carolyn's RV Life. The two biggest words in that are Carolyn's Life. And I will be talking about politics on my channel. I will be talking about social issues. I will be talking about things that matter to me as a woman living in the United States at this time, at any time. I will be talking about things that are important to me. Um, I will try always to express my opinion in a thoughtful and respectful way. I will always try to reach across the aisle, so to speak, and to understand other people and to understand where other people come from. And I will, I will always try to listen to other people's ideas and respect other people's opinions when they are expressed in respectful, intelligent ways. 
I have been inspired over the last couple of months by the men and women I have met who encourage me, motivate me, inspire me to keep speaking my truth. I will keep speaking my truth. I will keep talking about things that matter to me because I know that when I talk about things that matter to me, when I am true to myself, that other people are inspired by it. Yeah, you know what? It's going to get political. A couple people have written to me over the last week since I've been talking about going to the march and saying, I'm unsubscribing because I don't want politics. I didn't come here for politics. So I'm unsubscribing. I don't want politics. Bah, bah, bah. You know, I'm political. I think a lot of people who've been following me for a while know that I'm political. I studied political economy of industrial societies and I had prospects for getting involved in politics. So I am political. That's kind of who I am. I respect that opinion. You don't have to watch me. I get it. I am a whole person. I am about RV living. I am about adventure. I am about women's issues. I am about racial issues. I am about LGBT issues because I believe in freedom and equality for everybody. And I'm about all of that. And you can't have one without the other. You can't have Carolyn fun without Carolyn serious things that matter to me. So um, that's me. That's my channel. And what I've learned at the RTR this week is people, that's what people want. People want the real part of all of it. And so that's what you're going to get. For the people who are going to unsubscribe uh, rather loudly because I talk politics, what'd they say? I don't want to watch because I don't want politics. Well, I can kind of understand. I don't want politics in my body. I don't want politics to affect what um, choices I have to do with my body. I don't want politics to affect my health care. I don't want politics to affect the health care of millions of young women. Uh, without Planned Parenthood, I wouldn't have had birth control. And without birth control, there would be a lot more abortions. I'm just going to come right out and say that. That's just one of the issues that matters to me and matters to the millions of women who've been marching across the country over the last couple of days. But to me, that is a uh, pretty strong reason. ...that ensure that today, at Planned Parenthood Health Centers in every corner, corner of our country, including Las Vegas, Nevada, our doors are open. <laughs> me marching for what I believe in offends you if you can't understand why I would feel the need to march today and you don't want to watch my videos anymore, I welcome you to unsubscribe. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to change who I am for a few subscribers. I've said that before. And I'm not here slamming our president. I'm not here slamming anyone. I am just here saying that right now I believe I need to stand up and have a voice for the things that matter to me. People are going to interpret that message however they want. <laughs> yeah. All right, enjoy the rally. We'll see you soon. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Ah, see you soon. All right, we're heading into the women's rally. Resist. Resist. And this is the uh, Power to the Polls rally uh, on Sunday in Las Vegas. And I'm excited to go in and see what it's like. Can you hear them? They're already cheering. So let's Here go inside go. and yeah. see what's going on. Woo! We all, we're all, we all have our buttons. Thank you to uh, Rachel for making these for us. And of course, I've got my shirt. <laughs> all right, let's go. Awesome. March. 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 I'm going to march to the stadium for the rally. March. We're march. Yes. Thank you. Where are we going now? We're trying to get out onto the field. Oh. That's my sign. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But I'm grateful to all of you for showing yet. up and speaking out later. again for women's rights and voting rights today. One year ago, I was proud to join the Women's March in Washington, D.C. Little did we know that it would be the largest single day protest in United States history. Shaking the foundation of America. 